Today I am going to talk about friction factor calculation using the Cole Brook equation. Here derivative of f of f will be calculated by central difference approximation. You know in fluid mechanics the Cole Brook equation is used to calculate the friction factor in a turbulent flow regime inside a flow uh, inside a rough pipe. The equation is given by 1 by root f is equal to minus 2 log epsilon by d 1 by 3.7 plus 2.51 re square root of f where f is friction factor epsilon is the roughness height of the pipe wall d is the diameter of the pipe re is the Reynolds number now example calculation so let's calculate the friction factor for a specific example given data pipe diameter d is equal to 0 0.1 meters roughness height epsilon 0 0.0015 meters fluid density rho is equal to 1000 kg per meter cube dynamic viscosity mu is equal to 0 0.001 kg meter second and fluid velocity v is equal to 1 meter per second now first steps calculate reynolds number so here reynolds number is nothing but rho dv by mu so if we plug all these value we'll get reynolds number is equal to 1 lakh because this Cole Brook equation this is <clears throat> so all parameters are known epsilon d and Reynolds number so f we have to calculate so uh, it is nothing but a nonlinear equation and if we solve the nonlinear equation means if we want to calculate uh, that f so that is nothing but the root of this equation so we have to use numerical technique so one numerical technique is the famous numerical technique is Newton Raphson method now here so that re is a one parameter is given in the equation so we have to calculate re first step we are going to calculate re so we have already calculated and we find that Reynolds number is nothing but one lakh now what is Newton Raphson method so Newton Raphson method we know that x n plus 1 is equal to x n minus f of x n is equal to f dash x n so similar way so here that f is nothing but the root of the equation so you can write like that so small f n plus 1 is equal to small f n minus capital f of f n uh, by f dash f n now here f dash f n is the derivative of uh, f of f with respect to f so now here is the equation of f of f so now if you take all this uh, term in that one side so you will get this equation so f of f um, that capital f of f is equal to 1 by root f plus 2 log epsilon d 1 by 3.7 plus 2.51 re square root of f now here challenging thing is calculate the derivative of the function now here we can use central difference approximation to find the derivative of ff so what is central difference so that f dash f is nothing but f of f plus h minus f of f minus h by 2h so here h is very small number so here we can uh, you can take any very small number if you take 0 0.001 um, that will be good enough so now first so we, we have to calculate this f dash f so first we have to calculate f of f plus h now we know the expression here now we plug f plus h in everywhere so we just replace f into f plus h so we'll get this equation another equation if you uh, take that f minus h we'll get this equation now ultimately so h is equal to 0 0.001 so that central difference approximation will be like that okay so f of f capital f of a plus 0 0.001 minus f of f minus 0 0.001 by 2 into 0 0.001 so this is called nothing but central difference now first we have to calculate this this function and this function value so now for that we don't know what is the value of f so initial guess we are taking so that is 0 0.02 now based on that we are going to calculate uh, that function value so f of 0 0.02 so that is f0 plus h is 0 0.01 so we plug all this value epsilon we know that is 0 0.0015 d we know 0 0.1 and re we know so if you plug all this value we will get f of 0 0.02 plus 0 0.001 is nothing but 2.1528 similarly uh, if we plug that f of 0 0.02 minus 0 0.001 and if we plug all this value we will get this value now we put 
all this parameter value and find out the root of the equation uh, sorry uh, differentiation of the or derivative of the function value so derivative of this that function so that is nothing but we we'll plug all this value we'll get minus 177.9656 now after doing that we we and, and first we have to calculate the function value function f of f0 so f of f0 if you plug again so we'll get this value so now this is the introduction method so we have all this value we know so we can easily calculate what will be the f1 so f1 if we put a all together so f1 will be 0 0.0331 next if we plug so this is this will be our new grace so now if i uh, do similar way if i do that so similar way well, first we have to calculate now uh, f0 is some this one f1 so take that f1 as is f0 now we can do the calculation a similar way we can calculate f2 so that will be 0 0.0420 and f3 will get 0 0.0441 now we can do several iteration uh, until that accuracy is achieved we have to do the iteration and finally we'll and that will be when the accuracy is achieved so that that f will be the root of the equation so that will be nothing but the fixing factor of this Kolebrook equation so fixing factor of this so for that you can put f and you will get that f of uh, that particular root value so this value uh, nearly equal to zero so that is nothing but the root of the equation so that's it so you will get here after three iteration so here uh, so f for if you again if you calculate f4 so you will get 0 0.0042 now if you see the f3 is 0 0.0441 and f4 is 0 0.004 means it is coming very closely okay so now after four iteration the value of f converts to the approximately 0 0.0442 so the fixing factor f for this flow in this given pipe with roughness is approximately 0 0.0442 thank you